Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, this is our fourth video on uh, trees. Please go and watch our previous three videos on trees and this class will be learning the binary search tree. In the last class we have learned uh, the binary tree and uh, the operations on binary tree. So in this class we will be learning another kind of tree which is called binary search tree. So let us understand why it is called as binary search tree and the definition. A binary search tree is also a binary tree. So what do you mean by binary tree? In a binary tree there can be maximum of two children for any node. There can be one child, zero child or the maximum of two, chi two children. Right? Binary search tree is a binary tree in which left subtree of every node contains smaller values and right subtree contains larger values. That is all the nodes on the left of root node have values lesser than root node and all the nodes on the right of root node have values greater than root node and this definition applies recursively to every node in the tree no two nodes can have the same values stored in them and here a value stored in a node is also called as key right so let us draw a binary search tree uh, let us take this as the a root node which has got 40. So all the nodes that are going to be on the left of this root node should be lesser than 40 and all the nodes that are going to be on the right of this root node should be more than 40. Less. So 20 it should be on the left side and 60 which is more than 40. When we consider 20 so 10 on the left side 30 on the right side. So here 50 is lesser than 60 so it is on the left 70 is more than 60 so it is on the right of 60 so when we consider this left subtree all values 20 10 and 30 are lesser than 40 and here 60 50 and 70 are greater than 40 right say I want to insert a node 55 so where can I insert first I'll come to root node and I will compare with 40. Is 55 more than 40 or less than 40? It is more than. So I will go to right of the root node. So I am ignoring this left subtree because I found that the element that I am going to insert is more than 40 which is uh, bigger than the root node. So I will come here 55 is lesser than 60 so I will come left of the right uh, left of this node and I'm going to ignore all the right subtree. So is 55 more than 55? Yes. And uh, here there is no child associated with 50 so I can directly uh, insert 55. So I can directly insert 55 to 50. So 55 is more than 50 so it should come on the left of 50. So here my 55 will occupy. Right? So that is why it is called binary search tree. So searching is very simple here. So the searching is going to have very significantly lesser time when we compare with other types of data structure. Right? We are almost uh, we are avoiding almost half the tree here and again the half the tree here. So we have overcome so many iteration and I found the element and I found the target element 50 very quickly and I can insert 55 so that is why it is called a binary search tree here search can be very very easy right so let's go and find out what are the operations that we can perform on binary search tree find uh, you can find any element or you can search any element present in the tree insert you can insert a new node into the tree delete a node from the tree so let's consider this binary tree uh, the 40 is the root node which has got the address 1000 so 20 is the left child of the node 40 so address of 2000 is stored in the left leg so here it has got 2000 because 2000 is the address of left child and the address of right child is 3000 which is in the right link right and so on 
so this has got 4000 this has got 5000 this got 6 and this got 7000 so this is the binary search tree all elements on the left are lesser than 40 and all elements on the right are more than 40 so now let's understand the c code for finding an element in binary search tree so this is a function called find which returns the address of the target node in the last class I have explained how we can define the structure called BS node so same thing applies with BST node here it has got three variables one is for storing the data which is an integer and other two are pointer variables one is for uh, one is for storing the left link another for storing the right link right so this returns the address of the found node right so for this we need to pass the address of root node and the data to search right if root equals to null I mean uh, root is a pointer which uh, which stores the address of uh, the root node if that is equal to null return null that that means there is no tree exist and uh, if that does if that doesn't happen we check data uh, with root info say suppose here is the root pointer now it is pointing to this one uh, our data is say 50 I am searching for 50 is 50 is less than root info no it is not then I'm not going to call this function but I'm go for the next condition is data I mean 50 is more than root info yes 50 is more than 40 then I'm going to call this function again recursively by passing uh, root arrow right what is root arrow right that means the address of right right child 3000 now I'll pass 3000 and data here data is 50 right so this is going to run again here it has got 3000 and the data is 50 okay now it is no longer pointing here but it is pointing to this thing right this node now root is pointing to the node which has got 3000 if root equals to null no root is not null because it has 60 if data is less than root arrow info so 50 is less than 60 yes it is now I'm going to call recursively this function so root arrow left is uh, the address of left child that is 6000 here it is and the data is 50 so I'm passing both again to the same function now it is no longer pointing to this node but it is pointing to the node which has got 6000 the address 6000 right so now it has 6000 and the data is 50 right if root equals null return null no is data less than root arrow info no is data more than root arrow info no so if it is not less than uh, root arrow info and not more than root arrow info then we have found the element then return root what is root 6000 so 6000 is the node 6000 is the address of that node uh, which we searched for the data 50 so 50 is present in the node which has got 6000 as address right so this is simple if our data is not less than the data present in node and if our data is not more than the data present in the node this mean that means we have found the element right so this is the simple code for finding an element so this is the code for insertion of a new node inside binary search tree here I've got a tree which is already has got many elements in it now I'm going to now I want to insert a node 60 into this tree so can I do that so here is the code void insert function will do that it takes the address of root node and the data to insert address of root node is 1000 and the data that I'm going to insert is 60 so 1000 and 60 are passed to this function 1000 is the address of root node and uh, 60 is the data to be inserted that that will be the new node okay here I'm going to create a, a variable called node which is also a uh, which is also a pointer of type BST node 
and using malloc function i'm going to create a block of memory of size bst node so i've explained many a times in this data structure please go and watch our previous videos to know more about uh, creating a new node so and the address of that newly created node will be returned to n so n is a pointer which holds the address of the newly created node so here is the node created we have stored n arrow left null n arrow info data that is 55 55 will be the new node that is going to be inserted here and n arrow right null right so if root equals to null root has got 1000 in it if that is equal to null i'm di i'm going to directly store n inside root that means i'm going to store the address of this the address of this stored in n so i'm going to store the address of n directly inside root so this will become in that case this will become the first node of the tree right so in this case it's not happening we are going to the else part so node equal to root uh, that is the address of the first the address of the root node is going to store inside the node variable so now node has got thousand in it because uh, before this function node has got the address of the root node that is thousand now i am copying that thousand inside node so node is also pointing to this now right so the code is not over it i'm moving to the next slide to to show you the further code we are just uh, entered into the else part so let's go to the next slide so here is the continuation of the function so 55 is my node that is going to ins that i'm going to insert in this tree now node is pointing to the root node while node not equal to null while this node remains not equal to null execute this while code right if node arrow info is more than data node arrow info is 40 right is 40 more than 55 no it is not next else if node arrow info is less than data 40 is less than data yes it is if that is true go inside the else if part and check for one more condition node arrow right is equal to null what is node arrow right this thing right is it equal to null no it is containing the address of its right sub or uh, right list i mean the right node which is 3000 so this is also false in that case store the content of node arrow right inside node that means 3000 is inside the right link so store 3000 inside node now node is also pointing to this node right okay next this is over node not equal to null yes is node arrow info is more than data yes 60 is more than data so in that case I check again one more condition node arrow left equal to null so what is node arrow left this thing right so this has got the address of left node that is six six thousand so it is also not null then store node arrow left inside node so store six thousand inside node so node is now pointing to this node right okay then uh, go for this one right this is over right is else if node arrow info is less than data yes it is 50 is less than 55 if node arrow right is equal to null yes node arrow right is equal to null then store the address of n inside node arrow right address of n is address of this node address of this node is going to uh, be inside here right so null so now this is going to point to this one right so now what about this so this will start pointing to this now right this i won't get out of the loop so once i insert a new node i have to make a correction here so sorry for that so i'll put a curly brace here so now i'm going to add one more statement here that is as soon as i add the node i will store node equals to null so that i'll get out of the loop this time right so this is the statement i added so now if this is true this 
two statements will get executed right so i put the semi uh, curly brackets here so this is a uh, set of two statements now as soon as i see here as soon as i store the address of ns inside node arrow right i'll store null inside node so here now it will get null right so same thing here also copy paste right so open the curly bracket right so now it is null so go back to loop node not equal to null now this gets fail right node is equal to null now null node is not pointing anywhere at all so now i'll get out of the loop so i hope you understood this code if you have got any questions please comment below we'll try to answer it thank you well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you